Hi, I'm Christy from birdmentor.com where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders. And today, I don't know if you can hear that right now. There's pygmy nut hatches out there. Last night we got about a foot and a half of snow here, as you can probably tell by my feet deep in the snow. And it got me thinking, what are the birds doing right now? How are they surviving out here? And I think it's a great question. You know, a lot of people ask me, when should they be feeding the birds? And when should they take their feeders in? And I like to think of the natural cycle of things. If you just imagine for a moment when, what the, what the, the life cycle is of a plant, for instance, right? So the plants are growing in the spring and summertime, they're flowering at that time, and they go to seed in the fall and the winter. Just like right now, you can see some of these grasses are just barely sticking up out of the snow here. Whereas the other ones are buried pretty deep. Right now, <laughs> I'm up to my knees. And thinking about this natural cycle of the plants and then what the birds are doing with that. And so in this natural rhythm, right, the birds have enough to eat in the late spring, in the early summer. And also thinking about when they move about, right? So they're gonna be migrating in the springtime and in the fall time. Those are some tough times of year. The weather can be unpredictable at that time of year. The, there might be early spring storm or late spring storms and early fall storms. And so, um, you know, out here in Colorado, we can get snow all the way through April. And so I think it's, I like you to think about also two things. The first would be, what is good for the birds, right? So thinking about what they need. And so I would think that they need support during those tough times, during the springtime, during the fall migration, and even into the winter right now. A lot of birds who are, seed, who are um, insect eaters, they turn to seeds in the winter time. Not all of them, like these pygmy nuthatches will be wandering around the trees, if we can find them up here, looking for insects. And <laughs> there's plenty of them at my feeder right now. And so they do rely heavily on the seeds as well. And so I think if you want to think about what the birds need, then the early spring, the fall time, and also the winter time are great times to feed the birds. Also, I can hear them up here, so I want to just get a little bit closer, see if we can see them. You know, the next question to think about is, what do you need? <laughs> so I know a lot of people, got to watch out for the snow dropping from the trees up here. A lot of people, it just brings them pleasure and joy to watch the birds come to their feeders in the summertime. And really, de yeah, that's them right there. You know, and really depending on where you live, you might need to adjust that um, scenario, but if you really put yourself into uh, the life of the bird and just ask yourself what they need and then look around you and ask what the forest or the landscape around you is already naturally providing for them. <laughs> and if you do choose to leave your feeder up in the summertime, then it's a really good idea, especially if you're in bear country, to bring the feeder in at night and make sure that you clean them really well. That's something a lot of people don't know and aren't aware of is that the, the feeders can carry a disease that gets spread amongst the birds. And it's really important, it's really important to, uh, to keep it clean for them so that it doesn't get, um, it's a contagious disease and we don't want that to spread amongst them. So just think about the birds, think about your natural environment. And in terms of what I teach with the seven questions for bird identification, this question would fall under the habitat question. What is the habitat? So <laughs> I wonder if you can hear them now. They're up there high in the trees. 
Well, I hope you have a chance to get out there. Even if it's snowing, it's a great time to go and see the birds. Thanks for joining me today.